Hey everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars, the Russian reboot, or the Russian re-roll, depending on what the uh, graphic says on this video. Last episode, we started having some issues with the food, but we got that addressed by establishing a trade route with the International Mars mission. Also starting to work on a new medium dome. Uh, Paradox is offering that, so... We'll accept it. Um, they're going to give us, uh, we're going to give them 50 concrete. They're going to give us 87 food, I hope. Got a big boost on the research in the last episode. A new anomaly. Let's go ahead and uh, get those scanned. Last episode, we did also start exploring this area of the map. And we did get the that five, or up to five sensor towers. So we now have almost three days warning on storms before they arrive. Um, how are we doing on... I'm going to upgrade magnetic filtering, because I want to make sure these guys are as full as possible, and I'm actually going to drop down a new moxie as well, somewhere. It looks good. Get a new moxie up and running, because I do want to keep the oxygen flowing as long as possible. Um, batteries... Battery life I could probably extend by dropping down some new... Yeah, see, this is what happens when I'm not paying attention to stuff. Alright, fuel off, food off. We just need electronics and machine parts. Where are you going? Okay. I got this transport doing a route right now. And I'm gonna have to activate these extractors. Same time, though. It's gonna be a pain in the ass because we got the we got an electronic shortage. There's more to the barren and hey! the red planet than meets atomic accumulator and CO2 jet propulsion. So we actually have access to the shuttle hubs now as well as the atomic accumulator. Um, not super confident in my choices on what I'm doing here, but uh, that's what I'm doing. Okay, do you? See, you guys, concrete. Hmm. Got a slight drop off in power, which is fine. Because during the dust storm, we're going to get a big boost from these guys. Electronics, I think, needs to be the focus in the next couple of episodes. As well as, turning this guy around, grabbing five machine parts. And going up there. Reason being, they need machine parts to keep going so we can uh, keep stripping this guy down. Got a heavy drone load because this apparently is just in range of these two. Keep forgetting about maintenance on things. Alright, Dust Storm is active. Sector scanned. No resources. We should unload those there, because we're gonna need them in the future. In fact, no. Stop. Automate. Alright. So we only so we only have a deficit of one oxygen right now that's being spread out pretty evenly. Um, fuel. I am gonna turn you both off for a bit because we have plenty of fuel being produced. That's gonna reduce the uh, the water draw. Get us, this is a dust storm, and this guy just decided I'm gonna open up the window in my arcology and look outside of the dust storm. It, it's red. It's a lot of red. All right, medium dome is almost operational. We will put a tunnel between those two. We're going to start dropping down. Definitely the electronics factory first. And we may even bring down some more people in this episode. We've got 13 available jobs. And most of the people with specializations are the refugees that we got uh, from Earth. I believe we got them in episode two. Resources are low. Yeah, electronics and machine parts factory. I want to bring more people down, and I want to definitely put down... A MIS, uh, not an MIS. Yeah, uh, no, an MU. 
Marshall University. We'll put that right there so people can go get educated, come back, and start working where they need to be working. Sector scanned. Also wanted to put a school down. Another key. Right. Where, oh where, is the concrete? Okay. Alright, hopefully this guy will go drop a bunch of it off, and then I'm going to grab a bunch of concrete and take it down to the low ground. Yeah, he's going to clear that guy out. Very helpful once the automated mode is complete. Do uh, this gun. Come on. Alright, we're going to turn that off. We're actually going to take that and... Yeah, we'll dump it all here. Then grab a load of concrete and take it down below. What the hell? Alright. Colonists are suffering from... Um, where is this leak, and why the hell isn't it being fixed right the hell now? I mean, that just killed the batteries. We got a secondary leak? That... Oh, I guess it must have been two leaks, just boom, boom, that popped up. Come on, trying not to kill people this time. It's a very lofty goal for me. Scan. Oh, I'm realizing I'm not like, going at my full speed. I'm, I'm like, it, I was at, on the, I was on a fast, not fastest. Analyzed. All right, you go here. What do we got There's new? More to the Baron factory AI. This is Martian patents. Here's factory AI. Increases performance by 20%, which I like. Yeah. You need to drop that all here. Get this dome done. Plus that is, we're getting a lot of food. So, starving is no longer the problem. Air is the problem. Alright, you're gonna go back on to automate. Alright. The scientist... Well, first off, I have a scientist in my colony, which makes, thing, which makes me a little bit skeptical. A scientist barges into your office and says they have an important climate experiment to make. Quick to assure you that the experiment is perfectly safe, Masha Miladova reluctantly asks for permission to test within the vicinity of the dome, in case they need to get to shelter really fast. Innovation is always welcome. Go ahead, test it near dome. Get research, something might happen. Sounds interesting, but I'd rather play it safe. Test it somewhere far away. Get research, something may happen. And crazy, enough crazy for today, please leave my office. I am always up for research. So, um, if she dies... Okay, I'm gonna feel a little bad. Oh, she actually is a scientist. So this must have been one of the... Uh, refugees. Cross your fingers, folks. Here we go. Research complete. Okay. I don't know how much free research I got out of that, but I'm taking it. Something may happen. I love that. The something was it worked. All right. Water is slowly decreasing. O2 is microscopically decreasing. Yeah, you can launch during a dust storm. Dick. Anomaly analyzed. The explorer made a thorough scan of the anomaly site, but <sighs> couldn't find anything unusual. Regrettably, it appears to be the unusual readings are just a sensor glitch. Or were they? Most likely it was a glitch. Um, don't think that's a kicker for the mystery. I think it's just the fact that it was a bleeping glitch. A lot of metal just scattered up here. Um, we got 71 on the surface, 92 on the surface, 34 on the surface. Um, offering another 60 for 50. Damn it. Sector scanned. I'm actually going to change this uh, concrete for electronics. See if that will, uh, see if that's going to change things about. Oh, we now have a new dome operational. I'm going to turn it off. Because, well, we don't need anybody in there right now. Let's build a passage. And passages, unlike in the Brazil playthrough, these ones actually cost. You have to pay to build the passages for Russia. And there will be the, uh, the fall-off for colonists who have to go between the domes to work and play.
but we have a little bar here. And Comfort in the Dome has gone up a little bit. Um, I think we need a maintenance hit, uh, request on that. And almost like we'll put the dome resources over here. Once the passage is built, I'll drop a uh, ramp over it to keep the drones going. Recording in my office today. Don't have the fan on, but I've just still got that chill running through me. But luckily, I've got my penguin sweater on. I'm, I'm a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. I, they're the first uh, NHL hockey team I saw. Sector scanned. A new anomaly. Um, flat research. So what do we want flat research to go toward? I'm wanting it to go toward jet propulsion. So I'll get the guy over here once micromanufacturing is done. We'll queue up jet propulsion and then start that one up. Now we'll build that ramp that we were talking about. We'll build it right there. It'll be a happy little ramp. Yeah, we definitely need... Um, yeah, don't have the cash for that right now. Okay, electronics factory must get operational. We're now at a point we can't wait. I'm gonna turn this dome on. And hopefully we'll get some people working over there. Hey, we already got somebody working over there. Um, we have a few rare metals on site. That's what I was going to do. I was going to bring more people down. Um, could actually use that for the compact pass-through module, get a bunch more people down here at the same time. And I do have apartment prefabs that were granted to me for completing one of the objectives. Um, producing 50 concrete in a single soul gave us those three apartment prefabs. I think we're going to go for that. And I do have a living complex here too, but... Sector scanned. Resources are low. All right. We're gonna increase our housing cap. And I am actually going to put down a landing pad on top of the Vista. Mainly because it can access both domes. There are Earthsick colonists. Plenty of fuel right now. Turn that dome off. Wow, that thing sucks up the juice. Also got another oxygen leak, that's a problem. Hmm. Interesting. Sector scanned. Hmm. That just seemed really weird that that uh, did that. All right, passenger rockets back. I hadn't finished the research yet. Weird, very weird. Huh. Research complete. All right, large uh, tanks are now available, but I'm gonna kick up. Um, no. I'm gonna do a compact pasture module, go up to this guy, tell him to do the research. Now we can build electronics factories on Mars, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna turn that one off, turn this one on, and get everything moved over to there. That's kinda cool. I'm actually okay with that apartment look. A little different. Anomaly analyzed. All right, that just gave a huge boost to the compact pasture modules. In this dome, we're gonna need some services. So let's uh, start working on that right now. Let's do. Let's just do our normal standard: infirmary, diner, grocer. And 
Oh. Oh. Yeah, let's uh let's fuel that up. Dust storm's over. But we still have a power fall off. Let's open these guys up. That's gonna start turning those guys around. And unfortunately, we're getting a lot of people not working in their home dome. Kinda sucks. But at the same time, uh, it's gotta get done. I think it almost we need to start building a tunnel over here or unlock deep scanning so we can just rescan all the sectors we've got. It is kind of funny, the, do the drones go through, over, and up. And I know I could have gone for jet propulsion with it, but I think getting more people onto Mars so we can start creating more tech and you know getting the colony to thrive is going to be very helpful. Uh, this trade pad is offering concrete concrete for electronics. They're going to offer concrete for machine parts. See if anybody nibbles on that Money idea. Analyzed. There's more to the Baron. And All right, we got the MIS and Resilient Architecture. We're burning through these ones very quickly. I need to get the, the biotech, physics, and social trees to start catching up here. But we absolutely must get the compact passenger module up next because I want to bring a buttload of people down to Mars and uh, start populating Sector things. Scan. Another reason we need to get more people is we've got to fill this. We've got to get the electronics factories going. We've got to get the extractors going. Because, well, I mean, if we're going to start making this colony self-sufficient, which I'd like to do, we're going to need to do that a little bit sooner. So, we're almost done on that research. Resources are low. Chill out the game. I'm just gonna let the game run here for a minute. All right. Yeah. Once. Uh, this research lab, once we get the once we get a Hawking Institute up, we'll most likely get rid of this guy and put something else up. Um, and we do have the space to tunnel out to a new dome here. So this this landing Sector pad can scan. really be effective if we wanted to build another medium dome down here. Research complete. Alright, time to call people in. Okay. All the flaws are off. That's good. Uh, perks. Workaholic. I'm actually going to bring the workaholics out and the religious folks out. Specialization. Doesn't really help us here. Age groups. I'm actually going to thumbs down the middle-aged. So I can just bring primarily adults and youths. All right. There we go. More people on the way. And they'll, they're going to drop down on this one. We'll load them up. It'll be a good thing. All right. Let's jump up, jump up and look at the map. So with more than half the map scanned right now, we're not. there's not a lot of metal here. And that's going to bite me in the ass. It will. I mean, we've got 500 here, 600 there. 500 there, another 500 there. We almost need to start beeline for the molehole mine. Yeah, th this guy is dusting up fast. So it almost makes sense to get rid of these two guys and maybe move them elsewhere. Plus side is this guy is bringing back the metal, which we need. Not helpful that nobody is working there. Where's the concrete we need? Do we even have? We have concrete. All right, let's put some more depots down. That's the wrong button. Depot, concrete, bud, polymers, rare metals we must have here, electronics. And machine parts. 
Okay. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Alright, so I'm going for jet propulsion now. Okay, I'm going I'm on the right I'm getting that one done. Because that way, once we get the shuttles up, they can start moving these things around a little more effectively than with the drones. Um it's with a desired amount to 30 here. It's gonna reroute some of these guys around. And then once it's in within range of this guy, we'll get things moving. Hey, we only have one renegade left in the dome, so I'm gonna disable those slots. How's comfort here now? Hey, comfort's starting to go up. Missing service building, social, and shopping. Do we? Do we really have a missing social and service buildings? They're right there. This dome is missing everything because, well, there's nobody in it yet. Anomaly analyzed. The on-site data validates our predictive models of the electrically. Not, not, not. Man, I, just, I blew out the speakers there. Sorry about that. Let me try this one more time. Not. Alright, so 2,000 flat research for analyzing the weather anomaly. That just cranked up our boost a little bit. We're going to need to build more... <sighs> Where are you at? I don't even have an electronic up here to spare to fix these guys. Again, why this is so critical. Anomaly found. To get this one operational. Flat research. Get over here. Yeah, I've got to get people working in this electronics factory. So hopefully when these folks come down and they're uh, starting to habitate the domes, I'm going to absolutely want to put people in this building. Yep. Oh, he's jumping off there. Let's go for... Let's take a look at the planetary screen and see if we can uh, request some resources. 10, 19, 23. Paradox is 23 electronics. They have no electro or no machine parts. 19 and 11, 10 and 10. Ooh. Okay, not sure what we're going to be able to do here for a little bit. Because I don't have the money to bring stuff back. I mean, I can use the rare metals to get more cash, which would help. Hmm. Anomaly analyzed. Helpful. Pushing that along more. Oh, shit. Scanned. Yeah, we need an emergency supply. That's all I can afford. Make them count. All right. As long as they don't malfunction, as long as they don't, you know, deteriorate to the point where they're not going to have any oxygen, we should be fine. Maybe. Right. This is currently a trade pod offering concrete for machine parts, concrete for electronics. Nobody's nibbling at that right now. Kind of pissed. And yeah, so with this guy not operate, this guy a non-starter. We'll be able to get to most of that stuff right now. I was really expecting this guy to get here before the uh, rocket, but I guess not. Sector scanned. More water. That's good. I'm just going to bring these guys out right now. All right. On you go. I'm going to switch this to an L uh, landing pad because the supply pod's almost here. We're going to have one person leave, I think. Resources are low. Oh, I Your can't afford it right now. Yep, arrived. there goes one. Well, she is a whiner. She was the scientist who did the research. Little annoyed she's leaving. Earthsick colonists. Well, she's leaving. It's fine. I'm gonna open up a second shift on the factory here. This kind of does it a half. All right, yeah. Let's do this. Half it. Sector scanned. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna export some rare metals now because we've got to. Okay. Now, our concrete production is stalled because they don't have any electronics up there. Probably gonna be a research point over in that area. Over here, I'm not really worrying about the comfort in this dome right now. It's more of more an expansion of this dome. But we'll do what we can to make it more comfy. Um Yes, we need a Martian University. Unfortunately I have no way to actually uh get people into school because they don't have the electronics for it. Metals, though, the metals and concrete I can definitely put in there for right now. I've got plenty to spare. It's the electronics that have to be made out of here that need to get this going. I like that we filled it up completely. That's that's a good thing. This is not a good thing. Well, then again, we can go for crop. We can we. It's going to be a while before we get some soybeans out of this, but. At the same time, the crop failure shouldn't be too much of an issue. I'm going to send Zenit 1 back with all the rare metals I have. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Okay, offering concrete for machine parts. A breakthrough. Let's go check it. And again, we are hoping for extractor AI or, art or superior pipes, superior cables, um, artificial muscles. Any of those three would be good. Or four would be good. So, something superior. Something superior, extractor AI, or the... Damn it! I don't need dust doubles right now. Anything superior. Extractor AI, artificial muscles. Artificial muscles, I think, would actually be the best for us right now. Because we do need, we need the, artif uh, the artificial muscles is going to really limit the amount of time and, the, and it's going to increase the drone Great efficiency. Discovered. Plasma rocket. Actually really helpful. Um, didn't even think about this one. Uh, travel time to and from Earth reduced by 50%. Great if we need emergency supply runs. Um, I'm going to actually queue up a Martian patents and then go for the plasma rocket and the core metals. Damn, time is just flying by. I really thought I just hit record on this a couple of minutes ago, almost at the 30-minute mark. This is nuts. All right. So we have electronics being made. What can this dome? Relaxation and exercise. That, I think a guy can do. Exercise and social. Six and four? I'll make it, I'll make it work. We've got some extra polymers kicking around. Not a lot. Um, polymer factory may need a... God damn it. So let's see, I've got 35 available residences, 22 people. Passenger rocket filter. Nope, nope. I'll bring up the 20 that they that we have just to keep more, just to get more people Mars side. I know we need to start creating more people Mars side, but at the same time, they ain't cranking out the kids. I could move this farm up there, but at the same time, I've got 100% soil quality here, so I definitely don't want to do that. Um school's going to take a lot of electronics, which I don't have again. But I want to start, you know, we need the next generation of Martians. I'm most likely going to turn off the art store as well, because we're not getting, uh, that's not helping us. This is actually just sucking up the polymers that we're not creating. So, I'm actually going to turn off that. Uh, slight power fall off right now, it's fine. CO2 jet propulsion is going to be done in the next video. I just want the concrete here. I don't want the electronics. As long as this guy's producing enough 
rare metals to supply this, I'm happy. Uh, waste rock, I'm actually going to put elsewhere. I'm going to put that up here. Resources are low. Yep. Hmm. So I've got a bit done this episode. Probably could have done a little more. We are definitely. I want to finish the scanning on this sector, and that's where we're going to wrap the video. But look at all these research spots. And that could be a nice cumulative research boost. For, even though I just put like a little mini dome there, a trigon dome, self-sufficient. That Sector bastard. Scanned. Anomaly found. A key. Let's see what's in, let's see what it unlocks. I really think that the uh, the game is trying to finish that school the exact same time. I'm gonna turn that off. Just to get the last of the stuff to get the school online. going. There we go. Don't put the MU back down. It's already got a bunch of the stuff it needs. We turn it off for now, and now we can get the kids in school. And religious composed survivors, these standard traits that we're going to put in schools. And these three kids, they're going to have to commute. Sorry. Not much I can do about that. Next episode, definitely want to get Martian University going. We want to get the CO2 jet propulsion going so we can keep things moving around the colony. Maybe, maybe, we'll start uh, heading for the mystery. I'd like to get this colony a little more self-sufficient before I do that. Um, we only have about 70 people here. Let's take a look at this and wrap it up. Dust repulsion and plasma cutters. Very helpful for us. Wow, we already got gravity engineering unlocked. Hell yeah! I don't have, obviously I'm not producing that much research to do anything with it, but we can now get the Mega Dome. We can start working toward that in a future video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell, and that'll notify you when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.